Alright, uh, Horror Junk, episode number nine. Nine, we're almost in double digits now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, this time we watched, also from the Savage Sickos uh, anthology, we watched a little movie called Sky Gen, produced in England. Which was a surprise, because we didn't know ahead of time. That's pretty much the only positive thing I could, I could say about the movie. Because we're like, hey, we, that dude's driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, no. It, it's... And I couldn't understand what they were saying a lot of the time. Absolutely the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> completely, completely awful. And that's coming from a guy that enjoyed Demon Slaughter. Loved it. Um, you know, even enjoyed Blood Sucking Redneck Vampires. I own a lot of troll movies. I like those. This movie, awful in every sense of the word. I, I usually like I, I like to start off the reviews going over a couple of positive things about the movie. This movie didn't exist. There was no good, no good parts. This Nothing. movie surpassed the level of awfulness that Last House on Hell Street, our very first episode. Set. It broke that record. Which says a lot. This movie, completely terrible. Completely. In fact, I'm, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of, uh, like, a good way to sum up the plot. I had no idea what was going on through most of the thing, and really, it didn't even keep my interest. It's terrible. 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 So this is going to be a pretty quick uh, review, because really, there's nothing good to say about it. Since it's uh, a British movie, right? we decided we're going to rate it on fish and chips. Right. Else. And we're dedicating this episode to uh, Chad of horrorpodcast.co.uk. Nudity. Zero fish and chips. Not one boob in the entire movie. Not one. Well, there's boobs, but they had clothes on them. Not one naked boob in this entire Not movie. Not one naked boob. No cleavage. No I mean, cleavage. The woman wore a shirt like up to here. <laughs> Ridiculous. Was she a librarian? God damn. <laughs> uh, no nudity of, of any sort. Um, I think the most you saw was like a forearm. And well, there was, there was one... Uh, cleavage thing, but we were so confused by the story, we didn't really notice it. I didn't notice Sort of the it. overhead shot of the girl, and she had like the little spaghetti strap oh, that's top right. on, okay. but still, nothing. Zero fish and chips. Completely zero. This is also the first movie that me and Wolf would have reviewed that has zero nudity. Um, you know, as, as low class and low budget as the movies that we review are, at least they realize that you throw in a little nudity, and uh... You can hold somebody's interest. By God, you're a lot more entertained than uh, ever before. But uh, this movie failed in that respect. Z zero fish and chips. Zero. Blood and gore. Zero Lacking. fish and chips. Uh, and the only blood you saw was on like knives that have been used to stab people. Uh, yeah. No gore. gore. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to get zero. Yeah. Uh, death scenes. Zero. Zero fish and chips. This movie just did not get it. There was, there was no inventive death scenes. No. Death scenes that happened, you're like, wait, why did he kill that guy? And they and they happened off screen. Yeah. So, I mean, the movie was just confusing as hell. Like, we don't... We're not even quite sure what happened in the movie. There was no. a lot of, like, jumping around. Like, wait, wasn't he just in the car? Why is he now in this building with these people that I've never seen before? Yeah, and a lot of it was shot in black and white. I never quite figured out why some scenes were black and white and some were never figured that out. And a lot of it was shot in like, with, like, an echoey voice, um, which made the movie really hard to understand. Luck. I mean, thankfully, I didn't give a shit one way or the other what was happening in the movie, so... Yeah. If I missed a scene, I was like, eh, no big deal. Um, terrible. 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 I can't say enough bad things about this movie. It's just terrible. Um, so special, special effects. Special effects. Zero. Zero, because there were no special effects. There's none. And if there were, they would have been terrible. <laughs> I don't think they knew what they were doing. Terrible movie. Terrible. So overall? Zero. Zero. No Zero fish and chips. chips. Worst movie I've ever seen, I think. It was, Never. Yeah, uh... Yeah, Wolford programmed his little uh, DVD player to count down the minutes that remained in the movie. And I found it more entertaining to sit there and watch the seconds count down than to actually watch, watch what was on the screen. Although I guess this uh, just continues in the long line of uh, British movies that suck. Continues that tradition. You can only think of two that were halfway decent. Yeah. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later. So, uh, England, we're looking to you to make some uh, to make some more strides in the horror genre. Get yeah, on the ball, kids. On the ball. We, we, we like those two, but we got nothing else to offer. Week. We are looking for uh, some music for the show. We are going to start curling up the show a little bit. The response to the show has been overwhelmingly positive. 
So we're gonna actually start putting some effort into it, making it, making it good. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna class the joint up. Yeah, but uh, we are not musicians. We need both. So we need. Uh, we're calling. We're calling out to you, uh, musicians out there who want to compose music for us. Uh, you'll get a shout out on the show. You'll get a credit. You'll get. Uh, I don't know if you have a web page. We'll give you a link from ours. Um, if we really like it, maybe we'll uh, throw them a T-shirt or something. We'll throw you a T-shirt regardless. Yeah. Um, make music and send it to us. Horrorjunk at gmail dot com. So send us music. Viewer mail. So we're a little skippy on the viewer mail. I don't know if it's just we have bad episodes or people are just lazy. No, episode eight was our best ever. Episode eight was the best episode ever. But we had technical issues with YouTube, and I think that uh, cut down on our viewer mail. But that's how. Speaking of YouTube, sort of. Uh, we're up on uh, VO.com now, which we just recently discovered. Yeah, I had no idea it existed. It's a really cool video site. But anyway, uh, the, the first email we got was from a guy who uh, saw it on VO. Mm -hmm. uh, Greg said, uh, this show is wicked funny. I hope he's from Boston. And it saves me a ton of time since I don't have to watch those crappy horror movies now. Thanks for putting the show up on VO.com because I never would have known about it otherwise. Keep up the good work, and I can't wait for the next episode. Bloody House Vagina for Life. <laughs> Greg. Hell yes. Obviously, if you haven't seen our first episode, you need to. Otherwise, that just sounds weird. Yeah, but you know, uh, you know, when we first put episode one up online, it got nothing but negative reviews. That's true. <laughs> negative reactions. But uh, since then, people have watched it, like, after we've done other stuff, have kind of enjoyed it, which is weird to me. Yeah, it's like our second most watched episode. Yeah, which it's a terrible episode. Our number one most watched episode is the uh, William Cat interview we did. Yeah. I think we just got some off that. People just looking for William Cat for whatever reason, but we'll take it. Whatevs. So our other one uh, comes from Dylan. Good old Dylan. Uh, this one was technically on MySpace, but he's emailed us before, so you know, whatever. It says, uh, just watched your review of Stalking Hand. I agree that it's not much of a scary movie and that... The death scenes were kind of lame, but what can you expect from uh, some boasting about how scary their movie was? Dylan. So I'm guessing not a big fan of uh, the uh, LVCP production people. Yeah, I don't you know, I have, I have no experience with them other than uh, them sending us free stuff. So as far as I'm concerned, you guys are aces. We like your, your movie. Stuff. Your movie was subpar, but uh, you guys. We did enjoy it, but it was free. So we love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Dylan. That's it. A company called Monotone Pictures sent us in a uh, trailer for Hey, You've Got Zombies in Your Backyard. Uh, it looks like a good movie. It's pretty decent. I would probably uh, not make fun of it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> probably only make fun of it a little bit, but uh, yeah. Um, uh, just a bunch of high school kids, I think, uh, put together a movie. It's not quite done yet, but it's on the way, and uh, we're excited to see it. Uh, it's about a couple of hitmen kill people, bury them in their backyard, and uh, they come back to life with zombies. Uh, here it is. Uh, hey, you've got zombies in your backyard. Check it out. Bitch. All right, so there it was. Hey, you've got zombies in your back in your backyard. Uh, we look forward to when it's actually released. Hopefully, they'll send us a copy. Where we're actually review the movie. They sure as shit better send us a copy. You can see the there's two trailers actually. I only showed you one. You can see the second one on their website at uh, monotonepictures.com. So I think that's it. Horror Junk episode number nine. Signing off. Uh, this is Brian. And this is Tim. And we watch crappy horror movies, so you don't have to. We. Some of my favorite British words, though. Uh, bangers and mash. Cocksucker. Cocksucker. <laughs>
uh, Nickers. Uh, We're calling on you, Mizzou. Yeah, yeah. Cocksucker.